Time to delve into the filing cabinet for Jeanette and Natalie. Hello. Hello. Look, I've got his biscuits. Yummy. Nice. The pink oh. ones are the best. Mm. <laughs> So, tell me about what was your big break? You were a banker? I was a banker. <laughs> what, did you ever think you were going to crack the dancing professionally? I, know, do you know, I knew I loved performing. I didn't know if it was yeah. going to be acting or singing or dancing, but music touched me more than anything else. And um, I needed to start working because it was hard for us in yeah, Miami. I bet. So I started working full time as a banker <laughs> because I've always been really, really good with numbers. But I don't yeah. know, I just had this gut feeling that this wasn't it for me, that there's something else that's coming. And I, ne I never knew what it was, but I just felt like, no, 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 this isn't it. There's something else. I did uh, an audition for So You Think You Can Dance. Yeah. And then. I got the show. If you're passionate about something and it resonates within you, you know, you just shine naturally. You shine always. I just love oh, what you, you do. Oh, you too, Nat. No, honestly. High five to that. You're like, <laughs> don't tell him, but you're my favourite. Oh. So, what were you like as a kid? What were you like at school? Were you girly? Did you like putting all those dresses and makeup on? I was really sporty. Sporty and girly, a little bit of one of the boys because my dad was a motor mechanic. Oh my god! So I was doing like grease and oil changes and helping dad clean the car. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I didn't really love school because I was sort of a little bit bullied as a child. Mm -hmm. So the thing that kept me in school was my teachers and sport. I loved athletics. I loved 100 meters sprint, high jump, long wow. jump. Had I not been, you know, introduced into the dancing world, I'd definitely be doing some form of athletics. <gasps> That's um, amazing. So you did the Dancing with the Stars in Australia, but yes. how did you transition over into the UK? Like, did you have to audition? What did you do? I just was introduced to either try out for UK or USA, and I decided to, to come here. I love the tradition of it, you know, with Len Goodman and Brucey, and is where it all originated from. So I decided to come over for eight hours. Eight hours? Yes. I didn't know the train system. I missed my meeting, which was oh my god, really, really bad. But then, you know, they came and saw me in the afternoon. So you flew in for eight hours. I flew in for eight hours. You missed the meeting. Better late than never. I want to know what your infatuation. What? With these. <laughs> Why is it that you need to have one of these every day with at least one of your meals? Oh. <laughs> um, the Cuban dish has a very big popular side dish, all based out of bananas. And I grew up just having that as a side dish with pretty much every meal. Do you know what I discovered now? It's like officially my favorite what? dessert ever. A banoffee pie. Oh, stop it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love this I was girl. Like, Why did we not have this before in my life? But now it's a bad thing. So I try, if it's on the menu, I'm going to have it. Yes. <laughs>